Full of stories of mystical creatures, Sweden has a rich history of folklore and mythology that have been passed down for generations. The deep forests of Sweden possess both beauty and tranquility, but also drama and mystique. From water spirits and forest guardians to mischievous gnomes and terrifying undead creatures, Sweden's mythical menagerie is both diverse and intriguing. In this video, we'll take a closer look at some of the most unusual and fascinating creatures from Swedish folklore and mythology. Myling, also known as Murmur, Mylingar or Utbud, is a creature that is said to be the spirit of an unbaptized child who was abandoned in the wilderness. It is often a small, emaciated child with pale skin and sunken eyes carrying a shroud or a coffin. Not only have they once been part of the human realm, if only for a brief moment, but they also have the saddest story behind why they were turned into creatures of the night. According to legend, the Myling roams the countryside at night, seeking out travellers to latch onto and demanding to be carried to a church or a cemetery. Other times, the Myling would call out for help, asking to be given a name, as it was never given one in life. If the traveller refuses, the Myling becomes more and more insistent and its weight becomes heavier and heavier until the person is exhausted and collapses. The only way to be rid of a Myling is to take it to a consecrated burial ground and bury it with propels. The Myling is often associated with the concept of Utbird, which refers to a child that is born out of wedlock or otherwise unwanted and is left to die in the wilderness. The word Utbird literally translates to outborn or outcast. It is often used as a symbol of the fear and guilt associated with abandoning a child as well as the importance of properly burying and honouring the dead. Nakin this is a male water spirit that is said to inhabit bodies of water such as rivers and lakes. Nakin is said to have the ability to play enchanting music on his violin, luring people into the water where they may drown. If you come across a naked man playing the violin in one of Sweden's beautiful freshwater streams or rivers, it'll most likely be Nakin or the neck in English. With his seductive yet mildly sinister air, Nakin symbolizes the dangers surrounding water. Skogsra, a forest spirit that is often depicted as a beautiful woman with the tail of a fox. Skogsra, also known as the forest lady or wood nymph, is said to be a guardian of the forest and may aid or hinder those who venture into her territory. According to legend, the Skogstra is a shapeshifter who can take on many different forms, but it usually appears as a stunningly attractive young woman, but has a hollow back. It is said to use its beauty and charm to lure travellers into the forest where they become lost and disoriented. Despite its seductive nature, the Skogstra is not necessarily malevolent. In some versions of the legend, it is said to be a guardian of the forest protecting the animals and plants that live there. It is also said to be able to predict the future and provide guidance and wisdom to those who seek it out. Draugr A type of undead creature that is said to haunt graveyards and burial mounds. Draugr are believed to be powerful and dangerous with the ability to control the weather and cause illness and death. Also known as Drog or Drogin, it is reanimated corp of a warrior or other notable person who was buried with great wealth and treasure. The Draugr is said to rise from its tomb to guard its treasures, wreak havoc on the living and seek revenge against those who wronged it in life. There are tales that the Draugr is often a monstrous creature with superhuman strength and have the ability to shapeshift or control the elements and also that they are impervious to normal weapons and can only be defeated by magical means or by burning its body. They were also once considered a type of vampire. 
They weren't after the blood, but they were compared to vampires because their attacks could turn the victims into drogas. Vitra a type of nature spirit that is said to live underground or in rock formations. Vitra are believed to be powerful and can cause harm to humans who disturb their territory. The Vitra is a mythological but human being like said to live in northern Sweden. As it lives underground in rural areas, you'd be lucky to get sight of this elusive creature. Vitror, as they're known in plural, aren't visible in daily life, but they're always present, living alongside humans, and if treated well, looking after the cattle, both their own and that of the people they live near to. Vate. This creature shares many characteristics with the Vitra, but is found further south in rural Sweden, south of the Larna to be precise. Folkloric tales describe Vatar plural as being smaller than the Vitra, dwarf-like even. Tomte or Nise are two other names for these beings who enjoy living under the homes of humans in farms. Good with animals and with a talent for agricultural duties, they can be helpful around the farm, but if angered, they'll seek revenge. Haldra, female forest spirits that are similar to Skoksra but with a more sinister reputation. The seductive Haldra could be described as Scandinavian folklore's take on the siren. Haldra are said to be deceitful and may lead travellers astray in the forest. They are also said to have cow tails which they keep hidden. With roots in Christianity, the origins of Haldra unfolds in a tale about a woman who'd only washed half of her children when God appeared at her cottage door. Deeply ashamed about her dirty children, she hid them from sight, whereupon God commanded them forever hidden from humanity. And thus, they became Halders, the collective name for these hidden folk. There is also a good side to her. The Haldra is mostly seen as a benign spirit, known to be kind to charcoal burners, allowing them to sleep restfully by keeping an eye on their charcoal kilns. By way of thanking her, the charcoal burners would leave provisions. Mara, a type of nightmare spirit that is said to sit on people's chests while they sleep, causing them to have bad dreams. Mara are often women with long hair and sharp claws, but also sometimes take the shape of animals. The Mara, also mare, mar or nightmare, sits on the chest of a sleeping person, causing feelings of suffocation and terror. The Mara is also believed to bring nightmares and bad dreams by entering into the dreams of a sleeping person. In some legends, the Mara is said to be the ghost of a woman who died in childbirth or the spirit of an unbaptized child. Besides horses, even trees were thought to be ridden by the mare, resulting in branches being entangled. The undersized, twisted pine trees growing on coastal rocks and on wet grounds are known in Sweden as Martalar, which means mare pines. Trolls Trolls are large, ugly creatures that are said to live in mountains and forests. They are known for their strength and can be dangerous to humans who cross their path. Having spawned countless clay figurines and starred in animated blockbuster films, trolls are world famous. The original trolls, like those pictured in the beautifully illustrated storybooks by artist John Bauer, are giant yet mysteriously camouflaged to match the trees and rocks where they live. Trolls are intrinsically connected to nature. Their clumsy, sometimes grotesque appearance contrasts with the atmospheric, moss-covered dwellings. They're not known to be specially friendly or helpful to humans, but they're not overtly aggressive either. They can be cunning tricksters though, and it's wise to be careful if you cross paths in the woods. Elves In Swedish folklore, elves or alvor are usually female either portrayed as diminutive fairy-like spirits or full-sized ethereal women. They live hidden in the hills and forests, only coming out to dance in the early morning mist or twilight. Elves are strongly associated with the mystic extent that the term elf dance 
Dancing elves is still commonly used to describe the low-lying mist that hovers over fields and meadows at dusk and dawn. And where their little feet have pranced, you'll often find mushrooms growing in circles, so-called elf circles. But beware! Even though elves are often depicted as kindly in more modern fairy tales, Swedish folklore advises humans to stay away. If you have heard the ballad of Sir Olaf and the Elves dating back to the Middle Ages and still popular today, you will find out what happened when Sir Olaf encountered some elves on the eve of his wedding. They laid a curse that led to poor Olaf's untimely demise and that of his bride-to-be. So, as mesmerizing as it may seem, it's best to admire the morning mist from afar. The strange creatures of Swedish folklore and mythology offer a glimpse into the country's rich cultural heritage and its enduring fascination with the supernatural. While some of these beings may seem fantastical or even frightening, they have played an important role in shaping the way Swedish people view their relationship with the natural world. By exploring these mythical creatures, we gain a deeper understanding of Sweden's history, culture and enduring connection to the land. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you love this kind of content, do let us know in the comment section down below and we will definitely make more just for you. Thanks for watching and please do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. See you soon.